Hi, Keenan. I'm Matthew. How are you? Oh, I'm, I'm great, Matthew. Clearly just uh, totally relaxing and talent scouting all these great sneaks that you and your friends got here. Nothing more, nothing less. Definitely not about to shoot a intergalactic reenactment. You know what? Just tell us what you're sharing with us. Project Sunshine. It's about adding colors and lights to vector artwork. Do you know what vectors are, Keenan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know a few victors from around the way. They all in jail now, though. <laughs> That's great. But I'm talking about vectors, which is an illustration term. Who knew? Thought it was that car from the 80s. Well, speaking of the 80s, I've been a big fan of comic books since then, so let's start by making a comic. I've gone ahead and imported this cool monster sketch I drew into Illustrator. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You drew that? <laughs> you should, like, work for Adobe or something. <laughs> to get started here, I normally begin by tracing over the sketch point by point. <laughs> this is going to take me quite a while. Uh -huh. Project Sunshine makes this process much easier. Just select a whole sketch, click, and in a single click, we got this nice, crisp vector outline. Is that what a vector is? Next, let's try adding some colors to this character. I'm gonna go in and assign some colors, let's say gray for the teeth, yellow for the candles, and so on. But I plan on using lots of different color variations of this character, so I'd really like a way to speed this up. Project Sunshine to the rescue. We just select our character, invoke the color tool, click, and it fills the artwork with harmonious colors powered by Adobe Sensei technology. I can just scroll through the list of suggestions, and I can load any that I like into my artwork. What's cool is that it's not just assigning random colors to different regions, but it's able to smartly group components together, like using similar colors for the horns or the teeth. If one of these suggestions is close, but not quite what I'm looking for, then because everything is vectorized, it's easy for me to continue making edits however I like. Now that I have a lot of different color variations of this character, I'm going to go ahead and put them together into my comic. <laughs> okay, we all know this classic scene, office birthday party at the Scare Factory. Hey, everybody, why don't you take a break from all the scaring and come have some cake in the conference room? <laughs> Sorry, Matthew, please continue. These flat colors look nice, but to give the strip a more realistic feel, I want to add shading and highlights. Normally, I'd pick a character to start with and dive in by drawing some shadows. Just finishing and tweaking the shading for this character could take me quite a while. And if I decide I don't like a decision I made, like the direction of the light, I'd have to start all over again. This is where this technology really shines. To add shadows to my monster, I'm going to select, open up the shadows tool, And magically, I get this nice, crisp vector shading. And to go one step mm. further, I'm going to adjust the lighting direction. And the shadows automatically move around the character. What's great is that this doesn't just work for a single object, but we can easily apply this lighting globally to the whole scene. I'll just pick an angle that I like. And there we go. This added awesome realism to the comic and saved me a lot of time. I gotta admit, this office monster birthday spectacular does look much more realistic, especially all the little fingers coming out of the cakes. Oh wait, those are candles. <laughs> well, speaking of artwork with more complicated components like fingers and hair, let's take a look at this manga cover I'm working on. Here, I really want the lighting to convey the complex interplay between the sun and the characters. I'm gonna select my characters and apply two lighting directions. One direction for the shadows, and another direction for the glow from the sun. And because everything is vectorized, I can just go in here. I'm gonna apply, let's say, yellow here for the sun, purple here for the shadows. Let's adjust the transparency a bit. 
and in a few clicks, we added depth to our characters, even across complex regions like hair and clothes. With the magic of sunshine in no time at all, I vectorized the sketch, added rich colors to my characters, and applied multiple types of shading. We're really excited about the future here, and we think that Project Sunshine will make it easier than ever before to create vibrant vector artwork. Well, there you have it. Finally, Adobe came up with a product to replace actual sunshine, which is hot and burns our skin. No more putting on pesky sunscreen. There's Project Sunshine.